Now we're recording, and now everything is going to be pretty good. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do something a little bit different than what I have been doing in the past because I know I showed you what I liked, I told you a little bit about myself. I got a little bit into talking about different things, but this time I want to do a tag. And the tag that I'm going to do is called the small YouTuber tag. Obviously, I fit in that description. The small YouTuber tag is pretty much different questions that I'm going to answer and let you know what got me into YouTube, what got me into making videos, and maybe even talking about how the future is going to hold up for me with YouTube. So, enough talking and let's get into answering some questions. First question is going to be, what inspired you to start making videos? I actually wanted to do a YouTube channel for a long time, as it was anyway. I kind of started, you know, just making random videos of stuff I did. I think there was the very first one I probably put up was during a UAB basketball game. And it was just um, two of my friends just dancing, acting crazy like how we usually do at basketball games. So it was no nothing big or anything like that. As I put one up of uh, my first year anniversary when I was dating my then girlfriend, now fiance. I put up a couple of my drum major years and whatnot. And um, it wasn't until a little bit earlier this year because I started blogging and I was just doing that and I was just like, this is fun and all, but you know, it's, it's hard for me to actually type down what I want to say. So I was like, maybe I should get into blogging. And I'm still gonna be blogging and everything like that. So if you see my blogs and whatnot, don't worry, I'm still doing that. But I felt like this is a little bit easier to do and it felt like it was more me. Question number two. How long have you been on YouTube and ever had another channel? I mean, I never, I really haven't really started doing any kind of making videos until a couple weeks ago. I put up a vlog that I did from my phone probably about a month or so ago. So I guess you can kind of say that that was my first for real vlog. But for real, just doing, just being on YouTube, I've probably been on YouTube for a few years, probably like ever since 2008, maybe 2009. And then that was just more just to have an account so I can just watch different videos and whatnot and everything like that. Second channel, I haven't had a second channel. This is my first and only, this is my baby. And I wanted to try to change up the URL a little bit and make a different name, but I made a URL for it already when I first started out. So that's why we see Jaybird 2005 you know, that was when it came about. I might make a second channel, but right now I'm just more focused, just trying to, you know, get this one started and see where we can go from there. So question number three, where do you see yourself and your channel in five years? Um, in five years, for myself at least, I know I'll be, you know, probably getting ready to get, celebrate my fifth year of being married. I would also like to see myself um, be able to explore more and who I am and whatnot. More stuff within music, do more stuff within beer, possibly start my own um, restaurant. You can never know. For my channel, um, I'm hoping probably within the next five years, I'm not gonna say that I want to be big and famous, but I want to be at least successful in this. Being able to say that I was able to, you know, 
do a lot of things, do a, make some collabs with certain people and whatnot. So I'm still barely a baby at this whole YouTube stuff. So I'm not trying to think too far into it. I'm just worrying about, you know, from here on into the next year. And hopefully in the next year, I can think a little bit more into what's going to happen within the next four years since it'll be four years then. Question number four. What message are you trying to get across in your videos? There are many different messages I'm trying to get across. The main one I want to get across is just to be kind and respectful to everybody. Um, in the world that we live in, it's kind of hard to, you know, it's easier to be mean, but harder to be nice. And when I, when I say that, I mean, it's, it's easy just to, you know, say something's wrong or bring a complaint about something rather than just saying something is good or giving a compliment to something. That's one thing. And also just because it just seems like everybody's worried about themselves more where we should really be worrying about each other. And that's all I want to do. Just be able to just say, be kind to one another, be respectful to one another. And that's why I do that at the end of my video, just so that way everybody knows to do those two things. And if you can do those two things, then we're making the world a little bit better. Question number five, my question number five is, do family and friends know or have they found your channel? I know, of course, my fiance has. She's seen some of my videos. My dad has seen a couple of my videos. My mom, I haven't, I don't think that she's seen any of my videos yet. I, I want to say that she has, but not as of yet. Friend-wise, I want to say, hopefully, some of my friends are watching this. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, like I said, I'm still fairly new to all of this. So, hopefully, my friends will, be watching this more of my family will be watching this and then who knows even more people that's even outside of the state of Alabama even maybe out of the US might be learning more about me number six what does your username mean it means I'm me <laughs> I mean my username is pretty much just my name Ralph Marion so um, that's all it is it just me who who I am and that's pretty much what this channel is it's just stuff that's off the top of my head stuff that I like stuff that I want to let you know about and just bring you into my life bring you into my journey throughout the realm of YouTube so that's the last one that we got going on is number seven my favorite small youtuber this one is a tough one just because I really since I've been starting I really haven't found too many small YouTubers. I know there's there's a couple that are watching me right now. One person I can definitely say, Mr. Harry Britt. He's one that I've been watching and he's been helping me out a whole lot. Another one that I've been watching a little bit as of late, the Giblets. Um, they're a family in the UK and they've been watching my stuff for a little bit and I've really been appreciative of them and they've been really good i mean got three little kids and just them two and just their daily lives so if you haven't seen them yet check them out but everybody else is kind of on the bigger youtube kind of realm james chats how can i forget about james chat james chat tv i've been watching him for the past couple days and he's been amazing so um yeah so anyway that's the small youtuber tag if you want to do your own small YouTube tag and let me see it. I want to see what you say and your, some of your answers. And let me know a little bit more about you in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because we're going to be going through this journey together. Be kind to one another. Be respectful to one another. And until the next time I see you, I'm out.